Hey everybody, this is Patricia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a small haul for you. Uh, I have a few things I picked up at the drugstore that, excuse me, I wasn't going to haul, but I'll go ahead and haul because I ordered some skincare that came in today and I wanted to definitely show you my new skincare. So I thought we'll just include all of this in a little haul. So it's a small drugstore haul slash skincare haul. So uh, when I went to the drugstore, I went specifically to purchase this Revlon Age Defying Foundation. And I did do a review of this. I'll link it down below. Uh, but that's what I went for. I wanted to try out this foundation and see how it works. So my review, my video, I will link it below. But while I was there, I picked up a few other items. And you know what? I don't know the prices of these, so I am so sorry. Excuse me, my nose itches. I did go to the doctor. My allergies is why my nose itch and why my eyes are bloodshot all the time. So I'm on, I'm on new allergy medicine. So hopefully I'll take care of all this. But um, the foundation was, I think, around $12.99. I, I don't remember. I got a Revlon um, nail polish. And I need to do my nails. I'm going to do it in this. And what's the color? Teak Rose. Teak Rose. So I picked that up. And I'm sorry. I don't have the receipt. I don't remember the price. I also got a Revlon uh, Color Stay 16 Hour uh, Powder Compact. Now, I, the powder I've been using, I had gotten in a kit that is Benefit. And I really like it. The Hello Poreless or Hello Flawless. I don't know one of those powders, but um, it's about out. So I thought, well, while I'm at the drugstore, I'm going to try this out. So this is the powder, and I got it in medium. I don't know if we can tell anything. I think that's pretty much, yeah. There's no need to be show you. It just blends right in. And, oh, it's cute. So it's a compact, and then it has a mirror, and then it has a sponge in the bottom. But I purchased that actually to set my whole face. I like to use a loose powder under my eyes, and then I use a, a pressed powder on my big brush to do my face. So that's what I purchased this for. I have a little compact, it's just an e.l.f. Uh, pressed powder I keep in my purse. But yeah, that's for my vanity. And the last thing I picked up at the drugstore was, again, a L'Oreal. Oh, no, those were Revlon. This is L'Oreal. Is this L'Oreal? Yeah, no, I bought all Revlon and then L'Oreal. This is L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliner. And this kind of caught my eye. And this is an Intrepid Teal. So I wanted to try this out. And I'm trying to do a wing. I tried today, and I think it looks more Cleopatra than wing. I'm just going to sit one day and just practice doing my wing. Ooh, can you see that? If I put it up against my face there. Let's see. It, oh, that's a pretty. Can you see that? Yeah. That is a spongy kind of uh, tip, not a brush tip. So it's like a marker tip. But look how long that tip is. So that's a pretty color. It happens to not be as bright as I was afraid it was going to be. So I am very pleased with that. So that's my little makeup haul I got at the drugstore. Now, what I got from QVC. This was a today special value. But I was able to get it early because I got an email about it. And because I am, I do buy my Peter Thomas Roth from QVC. So that's where I got this from. And look, it's a bag. Let's go. Oops, unzip it. Oh, this might be a nice travel bag. Okay. I thought the bag was pretty sturdy, but it's a box inside the bag, so. This is the Super Size Retinol Power Trio, is what I ordered. And the main reason, reason I ordered it is because I was out of, I'm gonna, you'll see, this bag is, that's the bag. It's kind of flimsy, but it might be good to hold my hair care products, you know, in there when I travel. Um, I needed more of my retin, retinol liquid. 
serum I use at night. And this one is the full size. Uh, my other one is in my empties that I got in my last kit. This is the full size. If you'll see there. Let me, hang on a second. Let me pull out my empties. I have a big empties haul this month. Let me grab in here and see if I can. I want to show you. Goodness, the empties I have. Here it is. Going empties everywhere. This is the size I got in my last kit. So this was the size, and it lasted quite a while. I'm not even sure when I received that, how long it's been. I need to go back and look. But this is the full size you get. So that is the full size, and I needed another one. So I ordered this kit, one, because it has the full size of this. Next in here, I'm sorry, my nose is itching. I gotta do something about that. Okay, that's just nothing. I got more of these um, unwrinkle pads, peel pads. Um, no, this is not the peel pads. I thought this was the peel pads. What is this? This is a night cream. That's a night cream. And you know what? I don't have a night cream right now. Deep Wrinkle Facial Expression Night Cream with an exclusive solution of anti-aging peptides and neuropeptides at a concentration of 24% with aloe vera, vitamin A, C, E, and provitamin B5, retinol, and glyconic acid for normal to dry skin types. It assists improving the look of daily environmental damage, minimizes the appearance of pores, restores moisture, and revitalizes the look of skin while you sleep. Helps to reduce the appearance of deep wrinkles and fine lines while helping to smooth and diminish the appearance of expression lines in crow's feet. Brow furrow wrinkling, that is me right there. That is me. Laugh lines, frown lines, and other skin creases. Leave skin looking soft, smooth, and younger. Apply nightly to face and neck. Well, I didn't have a night cream, so this is great. I thought it was the peel pads, which I have plenty of the peel pads because I cut those in half. So if, if, if you don't know about the uh, retinol night serum, it's basically, it's, a, it's retinol in a, in a bottle. So I put, after I cleanse my face at night, Sometimes I use the peel pads. I don't do that every day. I'll cut them in half and just use half a peel pad. It'll do my entire face and the back of my hands. Then um, I put on um, the retinol after I've done the peel pads. So this goes on after the retinol, I'm assuming. Wait, wait, I got two of these, two full sizes of the Retinol Fusion PM Overnight Resurfacing Pads. Okay. Let's read about these. Because these are all... This is all I've been using. Well, it's not all I've been using. But out of this kit I've received today, I've been using the Retinol. So let me see about these. There's 60 pads in a container. Helps exfoliate, resurface, and treat the appearance of skin all night long. Acid-free nightly retinol treatment helps exfoliate, renew, and moisturize the look of skin to help improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, skin tone, and texture. A powerful dose of retinol palmitate, a form of vitamin A that is more gentle than retinol, begins working immediately to help renew the look of aging skin. Glycosamine, an acid-free exfoliator, works throughout the night to help gently exfoliate, renew, and smooth the appearance of skin from application to removal without over drying. A high performance form of vitamin C helps visibly brighten and even the look of skin tone. Ceramides help replenish moisture with essential lipids while allantoin, A-L-L-A-N-T-O-I-N, I don't know that word. Aloe vera and chamomile help smooth and calm the appearance of skin. Double-sided resurfacing pads help physically exfoliate to clear the skin's surface of impurities, revealing a more even and youthful look. 
All right. Directions. Cleanse and dry skin. Using light pressure, gently glide textured side of pad over face, followed by smooth side. Use alone or follow with nighttime routine. For nightly use, do not rinse off. Use P uh, SPF protection during the day. If mild irritation or redness occurs, use every other night until skin adjusts. Gradually build to nightly use. Due to the high level of actives, discolorants of pad may occur. To help prevent discoloration and to keep pads from drying out, tighten cap securely after each use. Wow. Okay. So these are supposed to be used every night. You put it on and you leave it. And then you follow up with your other skincare. Okay. So after you cleanse your face, you do this. And then you do this. And then you do this. And then I do my eyes. And, okay. Let's see what we got here. These pads are so oversaturated, they're bursting out of the jar. If one gets stuck on the foil top, don't worry. I've given you 62 pads. It does feel kind of, the, the protective pad here feels kind of wet. And it came off in pieces. I mean, there we go. Wow. I can see it's a, it's a different. They feel, they smell strong. Kind of a yellowy color. I don't know if you can see that. You know what they smell like to me? They smell like alcohol. They smell like alcohol. Oh, I put that lid on tight. All right. I'm going to try that out. I'm not liking... I have this. I've often wondered if, if Botox would work on that. I'm... I don't care about fine lines. If you see the wrinkles on my forehead, I'm getting real close here, people. I don't care about those. Those don't bother me. I just, I don't like this. And if I hold my face, I don't know. If I Botox my whole face and I had no expression. There we go. But I don't, I don't like that look. I don't like that plastic look. That's why I'm trying all these creams for you. I'm investing into my, in my skin so I don't have to go and get Botox and get fillers. And I'm not at, I, you know, if you do that, I think that's fine. If I had all the money in the world to do that, I probably would be doing that. It's a good thing. I really don't since we're a one income family. I'm a stay home mom. You know, I'm more careful with our money. Uh, yeah, we have a little more than some people and I'm very blessed and grateful for that, but I need to keep that in check. I need to make sure, you know, we're all set. So uh, Botox and fillers are not at the top of my list. Um, I'm afraid getting my extra skin removed from my arms. That's kind of on my list, but I have to wait on that one till I'm completely have lost all the weight. There's the cream. No smell to it. No smell to this cream. It's nice. It's a nice thick cream. It's very nice. So, there we go. Well, I'm very pleased with this, and I can't wait to add this to all my skincare. Um, and I'll let you guys know how it's working. I'll do an update. I should do an update every season, probably, with my skincare. Recently, I showed you what I'm using um, in my skincare right now, but I think I'll give you an update, say, in March. I'll do an update because um, that'll give me enough time to be using these products and see how well they work. So, yeah, that's what I got. Is that, that's just filler. They just have extra paper to fill out where these things were sitting. So, they went this way. So, there we go. That's what I got. I will tell you, I did get this on sale. It was 140 
Uh, so I don't know how much it normally sells for, but um, yeah, I paid I paid 140 for it. That's a nice little box. Look at me. I'm I'm already thinking oh, that whole Christmas ornament is real nice. God, bad for that. So anyway. I hope you enjoyed this haul video, uh, seeing what skincare I purchased, because I really am, I want to keep my skin as youthful and as healthy as I can without uh, going to, you know, and having work done. But like I said, I am not opposed to it, but I really want to find those creams and that fountain of youth out there that'll help keep your skin looking good. I get compliments all the time on my skin and I'm not bragging, but I do work hard on my skin. And um, so I don't mind paying a little more for my skincare because to me, that's an investment. I feel if you have really good skin, you can wear the drugstore makeup and it's gonna look good because really what's underneath is what's the best. So um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, if you want to um, send me an email discussing my skincare, that's fine. My email address is below. Or if you want to write me a note, my uh, peel box is down below. You're more than welcome to send me a note. I answer everybody. I answer every comment. I answer every email. And I answer every note I get in the mail. So there you go. So if you have any questions about this, I'll gladly tell you what I am using. I will link below my video from um, when I last showed you what skincare I'm using. I'll link that video below. I will also link below my review of this um, Revlon, Revlon Age Defying Foundation and what I thought of it. So that'll be linked below as well. And also a link to the uh, Friends of Mab Facebook page, uh, and you can sign up there and join us, and we have all kinds of fun discussions about what kind of videos you like to see, you know, what's your favorite makeup right now, things like that, and you can share with us just like uh, we share with you in our videos. So, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.